Okay, okay, all right. I give up, I'm starting again. The stress levels are all super high, like at 100%. I can't really, I haven't got the research to get a decent power generation going. Yep, that's it, I'm throwing the towel in. Okay, so we're back in a new world. Looks very different to the last one. Okay, we've got some algae and stuff up there. That's probably going to be the first place we start digging out, like maybe across there and down here, I think. So let's get to digging to start with. Algae is one of the most important first resources, which is what we've learned. If we dig, we dig right across. In fact, let's not go too far. Let's go to like there like that to start with. And let's uh, get them to do some tiling and stuff like that. We haven't got the resources yet. We're going to want a storage compactor early on. We're going to want that area dug out there like that. We're going to want to put down a an outhouse as soon as possible so that we don't get any issues there. Let's get our tiling started. Now we're actually starting to get some resources like that. Uh, cancel one of those actually. Uh, deconstruct, say, that one there. And that one there, and that one there. Dig out on either side of there, like that. And put a ladder down, like that. We'll go three high, I guess. And dig out under there, like that. Okay, cool. That gets me started, and I'm happy with that for a start point. Yeah, I, the reason I started a new game was because it was going downhill and I played the game enough to know that I'd got myself in a position where I wouldn't have been able to reasonably come back from it and that was the issue. Uh, I'm going to speed this up quickly actually. Why not? Why not, hey? Uh, I'm not going to put the, the what do you call it, on the bottom. And what's the word I'm looking for? The generator thing, the wheel that you're running, the hamster wheel thing. I'm going to put that on this level here, I think. And maybe put things like the research, maybe work up and put things like the research station over the top. Because um, eventually, I guess, we'll make this ladder go up. Oh, don't want to do that. We'll make the ladder go up as well. And we'll build like a floor up here. Because then we can act, we can use that water as our first water source, I guess, rather than going down to it. Or, to be honest, we could just dig down to it and put a ladder right down. Uh, I mean, it's a relatively small water source that I'm not really going to be able to use for much, so that's actually not a bad idea. We'll just dig down to it. It'll be fine. Uh, have a quick look at the oxygen overlay. Yeah, I mean, we're doing fine for oxygen, but we do need to get started with making things. So, uh, what have we got first? Power. We haven't got the resources to build this stuff yet because we're going to need to get some metal and stuff like that. And the first metal I can actually see is this stuff up here. So if we do kind of like a dig job like that to start with just to get us some metal and prioritize that as like six so that's going to be more important than doing the rest of it. Um, it should get us some uh, some copper early on, which will be useful. Unfortunately, this stuff's going to keep falling into place, isn't it, every time we dig it out. Okay, a bit of a pain, but we should get there in the end. Have I got things going fast? Yeah, I think I've got things going fast. Could. So we've got access to water already, which is good. And obviously, carbon dioxide is going to fall down into there, so that gives us even more of carbon, in kind of a carbon dioxide trap. Yeah, I knew that with the game, I wasn't going to be able to kind of come back from where we'd got to, and I didn't want to just bore you with watching me slowly fail at the game. So, we'll take what we've learned and apply it to this new world here. That's the plan, at least. Kind of requires a food source. Yeah, that's not a huge problem at the moment. We've got 20 kilogram of food for three. It should last us for a couple of days at least until uh, until we can get something set up. I'm just going to let them dig this area out and I'll get back to you when this is done. Okay, that's got us our first bit to copper. So we should be able to start building things like our generator and stuff now. Which I'll probably put up at the... Kind of up on the next floor here. This is probably a good place for it because we know we're going to get a decent amount of oxygen up there. And can I put my research center and stuff up there as well? That's what I'm wondering. Research station. Research station can go there. 
Can our battery go up there? I think we can fit everything. Yeah, okay, so that gives us everything we need to start making research and all that kind of stuff. So that's cool. We're going to need another storage compactor already. We've already almost completely filled that one. So let's get that built. Okay, and as soon as our research station's done, we can start looking at researching those algae terrariums and get some uh, get something built down there to start filtering our carbon dioxide out. That would be a good plan. Okay, so we've got the uh, power generator and the battery built. So someone is already starting to generate power for us, which is amazing. Okay, and the research center's done. So before, let's slow everyone down for a second while we mess around with jobs. Uh, who's our scientist? Rowan. So we'll make it so he's the only one that does any research. We'll set research priority to seven, so it's above other things. We'll set power generation to nine, so we're always going to have power for it when necessary. And let's select ourselves some research. So farming tech is the first thing we're going to want to do. So he should get to researching as soon as possible now. I don't know why he hasn't done it already. I'm not quite sure what his motivation is here. Have I set that priority higher or something? I don't think so. No, he should be up there doing it. I said oh, I need to queue the fabrication, that's why. Okay, there we go. He should go and do it now. I hadn't queued it up properly, that's my fault. Uh, let's get that algae there, because that's important. And uh, we're going to need another storage compactor, so let's do that. Turn organic stuff off on those. All except for organic. And we'll make one that can have the like contaminated soil and stuff down here. That's going to be the place for it. Because what we don't want is contaminated soil getting stored along with the rest of our resources. That's going to be terrible. Right, we've got a fourth person coming, and I think at this point they would be useful as long as we've got one that's worth it. So we got this person, relatively high decor expectation. Realistically, I want someone with a low, a low, um, what do you call it, decor expectation. There's this guy here who can't dig, but he's got five learning, and he's a quick learner. So we could choose him and actually make him our researcher. That that is a possibility and just make him our main researcher he's got a relatively high construction level I think we'll choose him and then we'll turn off research on Rowan and make the new one our, res our primary researcher yeah that'll be fine we'll do it like that okay they should be able to just get straight to it Perfect. Okay. This thing will turn on only contaminated dirt on that on that storage unit there. Okay, so our research is uh, is going. We're almost getting there. We're going to want to make sure we've got a decent amount of algae once we get to that. So I think I'm going to set this to dig out like that. I think that's a good plan because then I'll be able to get the algae from there and down here and stuff like that as we need it. And then we can put down here, we can put down a storage compactor specifically for the purpose of uh, storing uh, our uh, algae. That's the plan at least. We'll see how it works. Okay, so that storage lock is done there. So we're going to turn that just to algae storage. So that's all that thing's going to store now. That's the plan at least. And we can see how much algae we've actually got. A decent amount to get started with. Our research should be done now. Yes, it is. So we can now select something else. What shall we select? Gas piping, liquid piping? Probably liquid piping next. You can get on with that. In fact, is it done? Oh, no, it's not quite done. We've got one more, one more bit of research to do on that until it's finished. Okay, that should be done. We can now put down our... Oh, it's not finished yet. I thought it was. Okay, we can build the algae terrariums now. So let's put them down here. Where the carbon dioxide is going to mainly fall to. And they, as soon as they're built and they'll get fueled up, they'll start turning the oxygen into carbon dioxide. Sorry, the carbon dioxide into oxygen. Which is exactly what we want to happen. 
Okay, perfect. They're already working. So that's going to help us to start with. Right, I think we'll do a few more things like this. We'll dig out down there to make that kind of another airflow place for the gas to fall down. And we'll start digging out these areas over here. So if we dig out like that and like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Then we can start putting in like living quarters and things. And let's put in some tiles and all that kind of stuff. Just to make it, keep it, nope, that's not what I want to do. Set that to dig, like that, and we want our tiles. And we need a steady hand, like that. And same thing here, like that. There, perfect. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think we'll, how's our oxygen doing? It's not saying that we're short on oxygen. Uh, breathable gas. It says barely breathable. It might be nice to get um, kind of an oxygen generation thing going on. So maybe here would be a good place to have that. So that it kind of pushes oxygen upwards. If we go into power, no, we're going to oxygen. We should be able to put one of these down. And it's going to need some power. But that's not a huge problem. We'll just plug it into the into the grid like that. And uh, that should start producing some oxygen in the middle as well, which will be useful for us. Okay, things are looking pretty good so far. We'll finish off the building between, that we've set up here um, between now and the next episode. We'll get that done. Uh, we've got a decent amount of water going on. We've got this big part here, this here, and this here. We've got some bits down here we can still get to. There's some different gas pockets around, but on the whole, I quite like the way this map's set up. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how we get on with it all. Guys, if you're enjoying the series, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.